Hello Toastmasters and welcome guests. Thank you again for having me. So the last couple speeches I've talked about Farte and the spirits industry and how it influences me in my everyday life. But there's a topic that I'm even more passionate about. It's humility. People, to be specific. So there's over the umbrella term of humility, of course, there's many things that are involved. But today I'll only cover three. So your personal relationships, your work life, and your personal growth, of course. So the title of this speech is called Leaving the Breadcrumbs of Humility, because I hope that today I'll be able to leave my breadcrumbs for you all and further inspire you to leave your own. So relationships, the first. It's important to understand humility because you have to listen to people. Being humble means you listen to others. That's how you bond, that's how you create connection. It's essential to understand that first before a lot of us have egos and most of us want to know about ourselves, think about ourselves, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Natural. But you need to properly understand people and listen to them. Be humble enough to be able to listen to everybody's opinion. So let me give an example. Let's say Terry and I went out to lunch. We want to get to know each other. We talk for a little bit. She proceeds to tell me about her life, herself. She likes dogs. Her family's going great. She got a promotion recently. But let's say I'm not humble. I'll give you the example. I'm not humble. And I just proceed to interrupt her. And I continue fubbing during the time that we're, we're together. So it doesn't. That's not very humble of me because I wouldn't listen to her. I wouldn't be able to create that bond with her. So on the flip side, if I were humble, I would listen and really appreciate her story. That's what creates a connection. See, humility will take you far. So in your work life, again, when it comes to the work and your career, vocation, whatever it is, nobody wants to deal with an arrogant, non-coachable person. On the flip side, I'll give you an example. I recently took a position as bar manager. I left Jockey Hollow, for you, those of you who remember, I left Jockey Hollow and I'm a bar manager at Town Bar and Kitchen here in Morrison, a new restaurant. And what do you think? I came in thinking, oh, I'm some hot shot, I know everything, we're just going to shake some cocktails and show off. No, that's not the right way to do it. That's not very humble. See, by being humble, you understand that we're on the same playing field, we're here for the same goal, and to grow together. So, it's important to understand that for the work life, to be able to, especially in a leadership position, to understand that being humble is was always the right thing. So seeing humble, humility will take you far. And then lastly, my favorite is your personal growth and development. It's key to understand humility because I always say, it's part of my mantra too, is if you think you know everything, how do you expect to learn anything? <clears throat> See, so the key is to, again, listen and be humble enough to understand that you don't know everything. <clears throat> so let's say another example. I'm going to take George and Dave. Let's say they both have beautiful rose bushes in their front yard, but they trim them very differently. So let's say George comes over and says, hey, Dave, why do you, uh, why do you trim your rose bush like that? And Dave gets defensive and apprehensive, and he says, what? get out of here. What are you talking about? I, my way is the best way. So again, Dave, I'm giving you the example of not being humble. I'm not sure. I don't know you that quite well yet. But I'm just saying, that, let's say you're not humble. You say, oh, no, get out of here. My way is the best way. You see, it, would give, it wouldn't give Dave the opportunity to learn because life gives us lessons. Those are lessons every single day for us to be able to learn from them. If you're not humble, you won't be able to receive those lessons on a day-to-day -day basis. So again, Toastmasters, humility will take you far. It's important to understand, really, that humility on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope that today I have left my breadcrumbs, little by little, because it not only creates comfort for the people around you and you get to really grow and understand them, but it just helps you feel happier, really more accomplished. And as one of my mentors, Gary Vaynerchuk, said, if you have any good, an ounce of good in you, make sure to give it out to the world. Because the world really, really needs it. Thank you.